On June the 22nd, 1940, Britain stood alone against the Nazis. France had surrendered, and Prime Minister Winston Churchill could only growl defiance. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender. Britain still had all the resources of its vast empire. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, India, and a host of other territories had all been quick to declare war on Germany. But they were thousands of miles away, across the oceans, and their military power could not be brought to bear where it mattered. Britain's situation seemed hopeless, and Hitler had no doubt that Britain would soon try to negotiate a peace. But Churchill quickly showed how determined he was prepared to be in the war against the Nazis. A powerful squadron of two French battleships and two battle cruisers was lying in the port of Mersel Kabir in French North Africa. If the French ships fell into German hands, the British Navy's position in the Mediterranean would become impossible. So on July the 3rd, a Royal Navy task force demanded that the French ships either join it or sail to a neutral port to be interned. The French refused. So the British opened fire on their former allies. They destroyed or severely damaged three of the battleships. Almost 1,300 French sailors were killed. 